Pilot errors are accident in which an action or decision made by the pilot causes or contributes to the factor that leads to the crashing down of helicopters. Errors are intentional actions that fail to achieve their intended outcomes but also includes the pilot's failure to make a correct decision or take proper action. Other multiple factors that can cause pilot errors include mistakes in the decision-making process which can be due to habitual tendencies, biases, as well as a breakdown in the processing of the information coming in. For aircraft pilots, in extreme circumstances these errors are highly likely to result in fatalities. With that said, here are five pilot errors that led to crashing down of their helicopters. But before we jump into number one, be sure that you have subscribed and hit the bell icon to keep yourself informed with amazing videos. With that said let's jump into our incredible list. On Sunday, January 26, 2020, a Sikorsky S-76B helicopter that was moving from the city of John Wayne Airport to Camarillo Airport crashed in the hills, killing nine people on board, including a retired professional basketball player Kobe Bryant and his 13-year-old daughter, all died in a helicopter crash that would have been prevented. The pilot who crashed the helicopter carrying Kobe Bryant made a series of poor decisions that led him to fly blindly into a wall of clouds where he became so disoriented and he thought he was climbing off the clouds, yet he was banking and descending rapidly toward the steep hills. When the pilot decided to climb above the clouds, he entered a trap that has doomed many flights. Once a pilot loses visual cues by flying into fog or darkness, the inner ear can send erroneous signals to the brain that causes spatial disorientation. It's sometimes known as the leans. It causes pilots to believe they are flying aircraft straight and level when they are going down instead. In fact, between 2010 to 2019 there were 184 aircraft crashes involving spatial disorientation, including 20 fatal helicopter crashes. An experienced pilot ignored his training violated flight rules by flying into bad conditions where he couldn't see, and also failed to take alternate measures, such as slowing down and landing or switching to autopilot, that would have averted the tragedy. However all these conditions were also accelerated by the pressure that the pilot had to deliver his client on time at the pitch. The pilot of this helicopter tries to land at a construction site amidst many obstructors of very strong wires, passing through the landing site. Unfortunately the trail boom of the helicopter got stuck in one of the wires. Because these helicopters are made of a very light material, and the high vibration produced by the helicopter when flying, a slight addition on the tensile forces can cause destruction of its part. And this is what exactly happened. It really started well like the pilot of this small helicopter knew what he was doing, but all in all he did not know anything. This pilot was trying to learn some maneuvers that can be used when rescuing a person in water. Badly enough he over-descended down onto the water. He ended up crashing in the water because the helicopter he was flying had no enough power to compete with the water waves. Hope that was expected. Luckily enough the pilot came out safely.
This pilot flying the Apache Guardian was trying to land when facing the direction of sunlight. This was totally impossible to make things worse. When he failed to land, he took a bad direction of the sun. And we all know what can happen when we look directly in the sun. That short time blindness causes disorientation to the pilot making him think that he is going up yet descending down. As we saw in Kobe Bryant case. In this case the pilot failed to control the helicopter, descending at a high speed. Leading to such results.